Hello everyone, welcome to NPTEL online course on electric vehicles. So, we were discussing the topic known as hybrid electric vehicle systems and their configuration, which is the last topic under introduction to EV. So, in our previous interaction, uh, we were discussing the different advantages of HEV system and the different types of HEV configurations combining uh, the IC engine system and the electric motor system. So, in today's interaction, let us discuss the different modes of operation of this HEV configurations. So, when a HEV is used for driving a vehicle, it needs to operate in various modes like starting the system, acceleration and deacceleration of the system, normal driving, regenerative braking, the charging of the battery when the vehicle is in motion or when the vehicle is at rest. There is a mode which is known as Excel balancing. So, this mode is possible in uh, complex HEVs. So, let us start with the discussion of uh, series HEV configuration. So, when we have to use the series HEV for starting the system and during normal driving and acceleration, the full system is active. So, mechanical energy is transferred from IC engine to the motor via electrical generator together with the energy stored in the battery to the electrical motor. So, the whole system is active during this mode of operation. During light load on the transmission system, not only the mechanical energy is transferred from the IC engine to the electrical motor a part of it will be used to charge the battery. So, in series HEV configuration, the attempt is made to always operate IC engine at maximum efficiency. So, if there is a light load, it is always advisable to transfer part of that energy to the battery for charging requirements during deacceleration requirement and during observing of regenerative energy during braking operation, the energy is recovered from the wheels and the motor is operated as generator and mechanical energy is transferred to the battery via power converter mode. So, this power converter has to be a bidirectional AC to DC converter if we are using a AC motor. It is possible to charge the battery when the vehicle is at rest. So, this can be done by transferring the mechanical energy available from the IC engine to the battery by operating this motor as generator. So, these were the different modes of operation of a series HEV. Now, let us discuss the operation modes of a parallel HEV. So, in a parallel HEV, the mechanical system based on IC engine is also connected to the transmission. In addition to this electrical motor based battery driven system. So, both these drive trains are connected individually to the transmission using different clutch. So, during startup or acceleration, both these systems will be on and maximum power can be transferred for both startup and acceleration. However, during normal driving mode of a parallel HEV, only IC engine based drivetrain is active and mechanical energy is transferred from the IC engine to the transmission. During this mode, the electrical drivetrain is in off mode. 
On the other hand, during deacceleration or braking, the electrical drive train is only active and power is recovered from the wheels and the recovered energy is stored in the battery by operating the motor as generator. In parallel HEV, if there is requirement of battery charging while the system is in motion or when the vehicle is moving, it has to be done via transmission. So, the mechanical energy required for the transmission has to come from IC engine based system and a part of it will be transferred to the battery by operating the motor as generator. So, the power flow happens through transmission in this case. So, we all know that uh, there is complex serial parallel HEV subsystems where both the series configuration and parallel configurations are combined together such that both the advantages of series hybrid and parallel hybrid can be obtained together. The system is complex, but there are lot of advantages and various kind of mode of operation is possible in these systems. So, depending on whether the IC engine is more active or the electrical motor is more active, there are two types of series parallel HEV configurations. One is known as engine heavy series parallel HEV and second is electrical motor heavy series parallel HEV. So, let us see the modes of operation of these configurations. So, let us start with uh, IC engine heavy series parallel HEV. So, during startup, this system only uses the electrical drive train for starting the system. So, this system uh, as we have discussed earlier has both the parallel and series connection of IC engine to the electrical drive train. So, mechanical system is also connected mechanically to the transmission and also electrically to the electrical drive train using electrical generator. So, during startup only the electric drive train is used and is all electric mode type of startup. During acceleration, this system works similar to a parallel HEV. So, the mechanical energy is transferred from the IC engine to the transmission in parallel to the electrical drive train based battery driven electrical motor type of propulsion. So, this uh, generator is non active in this mode. During normal driving only the IC engine based drive train is active and the mechanical energy is transferred from the IC engine to the transmission and the rest of the system is inactive. So, the electrical drive train and the generator is turned off at that time. During uh, deacceleration or braking, only the electrical drive train is active and the mechanical energy of the wheels is extracted by a motor operating a generator and the battery is charged by the energy recovered from the wheels. In uh, this system, uh, when we want to charge the battery while driving, we do not need to operate the transmission system for doing that, since we have a series connection here. So, while driving the IC engine drives the transmission and a part of it can be used to charge the battery by operating the electrical generator. So, the IC engine and generator are connected by a complex planetary gear which enables connection and disconnection of electrical generator during driving operation. So, when the vehicle is not moving or when it is at rest, it is possible to charge the battery by operating the generator while the mechanical propulsions are off. Now, let us discuss uh, 
the electric heavy type of series parallel HEV. So, again during startup or at light load uh, conditions, the system is started in all electric mode. So, the electric drivetrain is only used to start the system or also for driving the vehicle at light loads. But during acceleration, all the three propulsion devices uh, or mechanical devices are used to accelerate the system. So, the system uses full torque capability of the system. So, mechanical energy is transferred from IC engine to the transmission and a part of it is transferred via generator to the motor and third is from the battery to the motor. So, so this is different from the, the IC engine heavy series parallel HEV where only the system acceleration is achieved via parallel HEV mode and the generator was off at that time. During normal driving, not only the IC engine is used to drive the transmission, a part of that mechanical energy is also transferred from generator to the motor for propulsion. So, in this uh, mode of operation, the battery is not used. So, this mode is again different from the IC engine heavy series well HAV, where only the IC engine is used for propulsion. So, here this mode is also active. So, deacceleration and braking is similar to IC engine heavy series pell HEV where the power is recovered only from the electrical drive train. So, again similar to IC engine heavy series pell HEV in electrical heavy series pedal HEV also battery can be charged when the vehicle is in motion and when the making power is transferred from the IC engine to the transmission. The battery charging uh, at standstill is also similar to the IC engine heavy series pell HEV and it is done by a charging the battery via electrical generator from mechanical power obtained from IC engine. So, in addition to series HEV, parallel HEV and series pell HEV, there is a configuration which is known as complex HEV. So, this is a complex system and it is a super set of series pell configuration. So, based on how the devices are placed within the configuration, there are two types of complex HEVs. One is front hybrid real electric dual axle complex hybrid and front electric rear hybrid dual axle complex HEV. So, in complex HEV generally dual axle transmission is used. So, both the front wheels and the rear wheels are driven and two types of subsystems are used. One is front hybrid. Front hybrid means is a hybrid of IC engine and electric motor and rear electric means there is another motor to drive the rear transmission. And in the second mode, where there is a front electric, a one motor will be used to drive the front wheels and in rear hybrid, a combination of IC engine and electric motor are used for driving the rear wheels. So, let us see these configurations and, um, and their modes of operation. So, in a front hybrid rear electric dual axle complex HEV. So, there is a hybrid system of IC engine and motor connected to the front wheel transmission and there is another system which is pure electric drive train which is connected to rear wheels or rear transmission. So, now compared to series parallel HEV, the machine here is able to operate both as a generator and motor. So, when you want to operate this machine as generator, 
it can be used to extract power from IC engine to charge the battery and when it is used as a motor, this power converter can be used to extract power from the battery and operate this as a motor. So, this is a hybrid of IC engine and electrical motor and since this connected to front transmission it is called front hybrid and since only electrical system or electrical drivetrain is connected to rear transmission it is called rear electric and since both the transmissions are used means both front transmission and rear transmission are used it is called dual XL HEV. So, during startup of such kind of configuration again it is all electric mode. So, both the motors are used to drive the front transmission and rear transmission. So, one is battery power converter and one motor second is battery power converter this motor and front transmission. However, uh, during acceleration mode the power is also delivered from the IC engine. So, both IC engine and front motor drives the front wheels while the rear motor drives the rear transmission or rear wheels. So, the whole system is active and it is able to accelerate very quickly. During normal driving or battery charging mode, the mechanical energies from the IC engine is used to drive the front wheels and a part of it is used to charge the battery. So, in normal driving only front wheels are used for driving the system and the rear transmission is not used and the electrical drivetrain connected to rear system is inactive. Again during light load condition the wheel connected to front transmissions are only used for supporting the light load and the motor connected to IC engine is used for driving the propulsion. So, IC engine by itself is not active and the rear wheel connected electric drivetrain is also not active. So, only power is flowing from battery power converter electrical motor and front transmission. So, it is again uh, all electric mode with only front wheel transmission. During deacceleration or braking it is again all electric and the power is extracted both from the front wheels and the rear wheels using uh, this electric drive train and this electric drive train. So, both front and uh, rear electric drive trains are active and the power is extracted from all the wheels. Therefore, it is also possible to generate good amount of regenerative braking energy which is higher compared to uh, other configurations. This type of complex HEVs where the transmission can happen both from front wheel and, trans and rear wheels, it has a tremendous capacity for axle balancing means when let us say the front wheels see a condition where uh, these wheels are sliding, it is possible to control the sliding by operating the rear wheels. How it is done? Let us say the system is under normal driving mode and engine is used to support the front wheel transmission. And then the system is undergoing a sliding condition or uh, due to bad condition of the road. So, to oppose this sliding force 
a equal and opposite driving force can be extracted or put in the rear wheel. So, it is a kind of power balancing. So, how much power is you know getting taken by the sliding force, the equal amount of power is given to the rear transmission such that the system is able to balance itself. So, this is a tremendous capacity and this type of vehicle can go in difficult terrains with ease. So, let us now see the configuration of the another uh, dual axle complex HEV which is front electric and rear hybrid. So, you can see that the system is now reversed. Uh, the IC engine and the motor is connected to rear wheels while the second electric drivetrain is connected to the front transmission. So, during startup only the front electric drivetrain is only active for supporting the startup operation while the rest of the system is not active. So, if the engine has to be started after startup of the system, the second motor can be used to start the IC engine as cranking. So, this system is very similar to the starting of the IC engine, where this motor uh, is working as a integrated starter generator. During acceleration, all the propulsion devices are active and both front electric drivetrain and rear hybrid drivetrain is active. So, it is very similar to uh, the previous uh, complex HEV configuration. During normal driving, only the IC engine drivetrain is active, while the both the electric motors are inactive. So, this is very similar to uh, other counterpart, but you can see that in a rear hybrid type of complex HEV during normal driving only the rear wheels are used to drive the vehicle and the front wheels are idling. So, similar to the previous configuration uh, during deacceleration or braking operation both uh, the motors will operate as generators and extract the power from both rear and front wheels. So, the IC engine is off because it cannot regenerate any energy. So, similar to the previous counterpart, if you want to charge the battery during driving, uh, a part of the IC engine energy is transferred to the battery via operating the second motor as generator. So, that is all uh, the discussion for different modes of operation of different types of HEV configurations. So, we have discussed series hybrid configurations, parallel hybrid configuration, series parallel HEV configuration and complex HEV configuration and they are all modes of operation. So, as discussed uh, during the discussion, to obtain all these modes of operation, we require a special gearing system at the hybrid mode of IC engine and electric motor. So, IC engine should be able to connect both to the transmission and to the electrical machine and should also able to operate alone. So, this all this uh, modes of operation is possible by having a special gearing system which is known as planetary gear system. So, as can be seen from this diagram, so there are various kind of gears connected together. So, the outmost 
gear is known as ring gear and the innermost uh, gear is known as sun gear and this small small gears which connects the sun gear to the ring gear are called planet gears. So, there are three gears uh, ring gear, sun gear and planet gear. So, sun gears are connected to electrical machine, ring gear is connected to transmission and it is possible to transfer energy from ring gear to sun gear using planet gears. And there is a link between sun gear and planet gear by this kind of connection. So, this is called carrier gear or carriers. So, this carrier is actually connected to IC engine and it can decide based on the speed of operation how to transfer power from either IC engine to electrical motor or electrical motor to IC engine or IC engine to the transmission. So, let us quickly see on the power and energy graph uh, where this uh, different types of EV stand. So, different types of this systems are decided based on the power rating of the vehicle. So, this is the micro HEV, this is mild HEV, this is full HEV. So, here uh, you know you have all series parallel and type of full hybrid vehicles and also, so PHEV starts here. So, in PHEV the energy storage requirement is high and therefore, it needs to have lot of batteries. While this systems uh, does not require much battery because it has a uh, very high capacity IC engine with it. A BV uh, uses more battery bank compared to PHEV since it has only batteries for supporting the transmission. So, if we want to uh, have a quick comparison of the different features, this kind of micro, mild, full PHEV and REV type of HEV can offer, we can say that the micro HEV can only support startup feature or idle startup feature and regenerative braking. While a mild hybrid HEV can support start stop, regenerative braking and also it can support the IC engine mechanically during uh, acceleration and click climbing. In full HEV, not only these modes are possible, it is also possible to start the engine in full electric mode, which is known as electrical launch. Since in full HEV, uh, there is a possible of optimizing the energy flow such that the energy is optimized to its maximum. So, this mode is also possible in a full HEV. In PHEV and REV, all these modes are possible. And in addition to that, it is possible to operate this PHEV and REV in full electric mode for a lot of time. So, it can offer decent electrical range in full electric mode. So, that is all under the topic HEV systems and configurations and we will start the topic of discussion known as vehicle dynamics and its modeling and simulation in our next interactions. 
So, introduction to HEV is uh, kind of complete and we will go ahead with uh, vehicle dynamics, its modeling and simulation in the coming interactions. So, thank you for listening to the lecture. Thank you.